could use use the last room. It's probably is useful later, but not now. Ah, oh, fuck me! What are you doing here? Okay, where can I go next? I can go all the way there. Nope, don't go. Nope, don't touch me. Nope, don't don't touch me. Oh god! Oh, oh hey, level C. I have level C. I got resurrection. Nice. There we go. I got level C card. Stabilizer experiment room. That's. I don't even know what that is. I can hear someone eating something. Collected in the input disk with the same mark and set both parts into the door. Yes, I got the D. Oh, there's a there's a dinosaur eating something. Maybe I should just let it eat stuff. And it requires keycard double A, of course. Of course. Yeah, of course. It always requires the, the, the A level. What's this here? Why the are you? Will you operate the panel? I don't know your code. Shit. I don't know your code, sorry man. I'm just gonna leave that dinosaur there eating stuff. Okay, I need to get back to the where the, the, the to acquire the D. Bear not coming from here. You are, aren't you? Fuck off. Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you miss. You bear miss. Cause I ain't got time for your shit. Nobody got time for your shit. Okay. So this is where the D is required. I will insert the D. God, Jesus Christ. Why is it in numbers? A, B, C, D. There we go. A, B, C, D. Then it's A. No. A, B. A, B. A, B, C, D. Oh, wait, no, it says 15, so it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. One, three, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Though, so, then it's free. Uh, A, B, C. Doc. Is it gonna be doctor? Twenty. Um, fifteen was here. Six, seven, eight. It is doctor. It says doctor. All right, there we go. It's 15. It's R. Doctor. Doctor what? Doctor what? Um, doctor. Doctor. F four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's Doctor Kirk. Nice! I did it without even cheating. Cause it was because of the numbers and stuff. There's a passageway here. Okay, I don't like this. Slot to insert a key chip. The number 0392 is inscribed. Do you have the key chip? Zero three nine two, eh? Gonna write it down. Oh, hey, I found uh, another writings from old other things. Um, zero three nine nine two. There we go. Leave it there. So, key chip. I don't have a key chip. Slots insert a key chip. The number. I don't have a key chip. 
Where did I get a key chip? What? Fuck. What am I missing? I'm missing something. I need to Google. God damn it. Okay, so according to Google, I need to go back to the place where we can rewrite stuff, but I don't know how am I gonna do that. Uh, I know the code now, so I know the code which I need to use to rewrite it, but where was it again? <laughs> I forgot where was it again. Oh, it was here. Oh, okay, good came from here so I think this is the thing this term will manage the confirmation of the key chips you can input data to a key chip here all right there we go so a slot for a key chip all right so I think I don't need two of them I've inserted the key chip I think I can do it you go override the data yes now I need the code which was I have it written right here on me on me phone on me phone where is it it's zero three nine two. The number has been confirmed. The man magnetic pattern data for zero three nine two is being displayed. Please overwrite the magnetic pattern of the key chips correctly. Ah shit! It's one of these, eh? It's one of these, eh? It's one of these, eh? Fucking okay. Ah shit! I can. Ah fuck.
Easy. There we go. Done it. Okay, information matched. Yeah, booby. Complete. Awesome. We have taken out the overridden key chip. Alright, we can now go to that place where I need to go. I got your cheat key chip. Uh, which one is it? There we go. Oh crap. There's another door. Slot to insert a key chip, nothing is written on it. Still worked, it still worked, it still worked, inventory, I need, no, I don't need it. Nice. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm the third energy area. Oh my god. generator of the third energy. Great. See if you can activate it. Great, now I need to find a way to activate this bitch. Uh, where am I on the map? Okay. Hello. Where are you? you press the button. Sure. Okay. So that's a thing. Okay. So system locked, system locked on the monitor success. The panel that activate the furnace energy generator. Will you operate it? Sure. the button. Nothing happened. Certain preparations have to be made before pushing pushing the button. Okay. So does this not didn't work? Error. Preparation procedure incomplete. Oh, so it says preparation. Okay. So I need to prepare it for some somehow. Does that mean I have to go through this door? I probably it probably does. Third energy control room, of course. Oh boy, there's like a lot of stuff here. Term terminals that monitor them. they're being okay. I got a plug. I'm gonna go read that manual before I'm doing before I do anything bad. That might all gone. Okay, generator. Okay, how to activate and control the generator? One, prepare to activate the generator by operating the main panel on the upper floor of the control room. Second, move to the B3 area of the generator to set the initializer. 
3. Operate the panel near the initializer to connect the inhale shaft to the generator. 4. Move to the B2 area to set the stabilizer. 5. Activate the generator. 6. Go back to the control room and adjust the output on the lower floor. When activating the generator, make sure the doctor is present. To avoid the accidents, the generator cannot be activated without Dr. Kirk's ID card. Of course. Error. Preparation procedure incomplete. Announcement. Power for generator is disconnected. Power for generator, eh? Stairs. Current energy control. It's downstairs, eh? Oh, there's a thing. The level of this card is B. And what the fuck am I supposed to do with a B level thing? What are you? Researcher's journal. Since I was assigned to this department, all I've done of this simple sample the simulation data of the generator. Even a college student would handle these tasks. Why doesn't Kirk want us to operate the generator? Doesn't he trust our ability and skill? I don't think the problem is so simple because his ID card is required to operate the generator. Once an accident occurs, Kirk is the only person who can stop it. I don't see what the military is planning to do with his con conniving nonsensical procedure. I have an idea, it's about that guy Tom, who was recently assigned to the B1 area. He often comes to me ask about our job. I guess he can't resist my charming personality. Why don't we invite him into our group and have him spy on Dr. Kirk? This should be work as, as he's good at gaining confidence in people to be. Don't be so simple-minded. Have you already forgotten how we trying to get Kirk's attention until recently. Learn to think a bit more logically first. At any rate, male researchers here don't seem to know much of anything beyond research. Maybe you ought to try showing the next one you become close friends with the wonders of shampoo and the washing machine. Okay. Poor Tom. I get the feeling I can push you. Yes, I can. Unlocked, eh? Okay, there are two doors that I can go. One of them is um, an elevator, apparently, but it's brand but it says it's locked, so. Use the card. Oh, cool. Oh, it's this elevator. I can now go back where I want to, to go. No. I want to go see what's here. Power frequency room. Okay. Ooh. Is that... Who is that? Hello? She's unconscious. She's dying. And is there anything I can help? Okay. I can't help her. Switch the supply destination of the emergency card to the further in there. Will you switch the supply destination? Yes. Ah, crap. Ah, great. Mm-hmm. 
through to somewhere. Good. So it's done. Another manual. I need to read these. Perk has been hiding everything from the researchers recently in the demonstration of solidarity. The B1 lab, lab area staff have decided to investigate what Kirk and military personnel are up to. We already know his registration number, which I should write down because that would be cheating. If I cheated it in. All we need now to forge his ID card and, and his, is his fingerprint data. How do we get his fingerprint data? We can store medical supplies in this emergency box. Medical supplies, eh? Yeah, I need, I need ammo. There we go, heat bullets. That's all I needed. Needed more bullets. Yeah, there's a room here. The door is locked from the other side. Ah, of course it is. What about you? The machine controls the energy generator. Okay. Hey, hi. Still on. She's she's still dying. At least I know Kirk's registration number. Actually, no, wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. No, come on. No, I can't do anything without Dr. Kirk's ID card. was that? There was something in this room. What happened? I think. Oh shit, what the fuck happened here? Oh f Fuck. What the fuck happened here? She's been shot to death. She's not breathing, she's holding a memo written in blood. One, two, eight, one. I'll write that down, if you don't mind me. Just gonna have it right in written. One, two, eight, one. Save. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so she's been shot. They look like devices that record the data to the thick and bloody hands. Their fingerprints can be seen clearly. Oh my god, it's fucking Dr. Kirk, wasn't it? He shot her. I'm gonna use this. There is controlled fingerprint over here. Write the data. Okay, where? Okay. Oh. Was fucking Dr. Kirk, wasn't it? Shit. It was! I knew it!
bastards. Dr. Kirk's personal lab. Okay, Kirk, I got a gun. I know how to use guns. Don't move. And what do you think you're doing? Carving a name for myself in history with the ultimate energy source. Open your eyes, you freak. Your precious creation is nothing more than another weapon to be misused. <laughs> you seem to have a small degree of superficial intelligence. It's too bad that it is wasted on one who is about to die. Oh, oh snap! Rick, our target has been secured. Report here immediately. Thanks, Gail. Sorry to interrupt your lecture, Doc. You were saying? Yes, I was saying. I discovered how the third energy could affect space if it ran unchecked three years ago. I thought that the energy had the ability to transfer selective space to an alternate time-space continuum. But I was incorrect. The space was not transferred, it was exchanged. To put it in terms that even you can understand, third energy has the ability to replace a pocket in space with one from a different time. What? Yes. I came to these conclusions following this evening's final experiment. You've seen the effects yourself. Those beasts were occupying the space this facility is located on almost 65 million years ago. Right. So that's how those dinosaurs appeared in our time. Precisely. And that is what I have done. Uh-huh. And how many people were sacrificed before you made this discovery? <laughs> Who cares? The numbers are quite irrelevant. Let's just say that there were many. Extraordinary deaths for ordinary men, don't you think? Spoken like a true devil. A god or a devil? Hmm. I don't care about that. Only my experiment. Enough. Only one thing matters at this point. Your grand invention is blocking our escape. You need to destroy the Vortex. <laughs> the only way to do that is to allow the generator's third energy levels to overload. Theoretically speaking, the third energy and the Vortex will cancel each other out if they come in contact with one another. But there is one small catch. If you cannot stop the generator's third energy overload, this entire region may be shifted to another point in the space-time continuum. Oh, shit. Then we'll just make sure to be somewhere else when the shift happens. No problem. But we couldn't even activate the device. <laughs> You're missing the initializer and stabilizer, right? Where are they? Calm down. They should be stored in one of the security level A rooms on floor B3. Very good, Doc. Now you understand our situation. We live, you live. Nice. I got an A level. Oh, hey. Okay. I'm all set to whip up a program that will send a stream of third energy into the vortex. I'll keep an eye on the doctor. Regina, you go find those devices and overload the third energy. Remember, they're in a security level A room on floor B3. Hold up. That whole floor is crawling with dinosaurs, including that T-Rex. Let's get this situation under control before charging off. Here, take this. 
This contains the draft plans for the initializer and stabilizer. I stumbled over them while searching through the database. Fortunately, the room where the parts are stored is not far from here. We should gather up the parts and assemble the devices. Don't be ridiculous. Regina doesn't have the technical knowledge for that. We don't even know if all the right parts are there. We'd be better off simply trying to hunt down the completed devices. It's too dangerous down there. She won't make it. It's your call then, Regina. You're the one who has to do this. So what's your choice? Shit! L strategy, head for the B3 level A area. Rick strategy, head for the part storage on B2. are scrolling and I'm almost dead so I'm gonna go with Greg's strategy it's your show girl I just hope you know what you're doing do whatever you want just don't fail this you can build as the initializer and the stabilizer I need to go that way Okay, I'm just gonna look around here. are needed in all. devices. Sorry, man. Jesus. Okay. Alright, time to go find those devices. I mean, if I fail constructing them, then I can always go to level A areas. That's probably what I have to, what I have to do. 